Did Russian President Vladimir Putin threaten to send illegal Chinese immigrants to the front line in Ukraine? One viral video claims to show a crowd of Chinese immigrants trying to flee Russia. But is it true? Multiple social media users have been sharing this video suggesting Chinese illegal immigrants are trying to escape Russia after Vladimir Putin threatened to send them to the war front with Ukraine. The viral posts suggest airports in Russia are currently seeing an increase in travelers trying to get back to China. But by doing a reverse image search, we found this video is actually misleading. It was posted on the 30th of December 2023 on the social media platform Douyin, the Chinese equivalent of TikTok. The translated caption says the video shows travelers trying to leave Russia to celebrate the new year in China. The same account published more videos showing people traveling to China for the new year celebrations the next day. The person behind the account claims to live in the Chinese city of Heihei on the border with the Russian town of Blagoveshensk. Her account appears to document her life traveling between China and Russia. The viral video first appeared on social media a few days after President Vladimir Putin signed a decree on the 4th of January 2024 allowing foreigners who fight for Russia in Ukraine to obtain Russian citizenship. Russia attracts foreigners from Central Asian countries such as Tajikistan or Uzbekistan seeking higher wages and Russian citizenship. Putin had already signed two decrees previously, speeding up the process for foreign nationals to obtain a Russian passport if they fight in Ukraine. But the most recent decree makes the citizenship path even quicker with the delay not lasting more than one month instead of three. And although Vladimir Putin hasn't directly threatened to send all illegal immigrants to fight in Ukraine, there have been numerous reports of migrants being forced to enlist in the military. For more fact checks and investigations, check out our website, yournews.com.